Hello everyone, in this particular lecture we are going to discuss dbt python model and the reason of introducing the python model in dbt is that it has more capabilities, more features, more functionalities compared to SQL models. dbt python model is defined as a function named model that takes two arguments and return a data frame. So this is how you define a dbt python model with def keyword then the name of model and it is going to take two arguments dbt and session what is this dbt a class compiled by dbt core unique to each model enables you to run your python code in the context of your dbt project what is this session a class representing your data platforms connection to the python backend a session is needed to read in tables as data frame and to write data frames back to tables. dbt python model is saved with .py extension whereas when it comes to SQL models it is saved with .sql extension. So let me just create my first python model for you and I'm going to go in my dbt cloud and in the training section I'm going to create my first model and I will name it first transformation dot py is going to be the name okay and first of all what I will do in order to create this so I will include this the, the snowpark library so the reason of introducing this library there because uh, this is going to be treated as a data frame and I want the data frame capabilities save this this library has been included afterwards I'm going to uh, create a model so using def keyword then the name of model and it is going to take two arguments dbt and session okay finally colon uh, afterward once this has been defined I'm going to include the configuration block so this is how you include the configuration block in python model with dbt.config and materialized equals to table equals to table afterwards just save this so what I want I want to refer the first table the first model and I want to refer my the second model these two models okay this I have treated this as a first model this one as a first model and this is the second model okay so in order to refer another model in in python model you're going to use the dbt.ref function okay so I will store it in store equals to dbt dot ref and the name of my first model is going to be this one rename it and this is going to be the name so I'm not including the SQL part just the name okay store underscore this is going to be the name okay then likewise I am going to refer my second model let me just copy paste this store underscore sales underscore dbt dot ref and the name is going to be this one store underscore sales underscore this just copy this as it is and name it okay so this is going to be my name and afterwards I'm going to include my data frame equals to let me just copy paste this syntax here copy this and paste here so 
store underscore is the name store sales underscore let me just copy paste it so this is going to be my another table so i am having a join on the basis of sk store sk and store underscore sk okay so store underscore sales is underscore and store underscore is the second name store underscore and store underscore s country okay now let me just explain the logic first i have to save it and let me just return the data frame as well return this data frame okay look so what is happening so materialized equal to table so the i have introduced the configuration block then the variables so the first model is this one which is going to take four columns store id store name country and store underscore sk on the basis of this column we are having a join with join inner join this is my second uh, model which is taking sales price profit quantity and store underscore sk i'm having a join on the basis of the basis of this store underscore sk with join inner join then i'm grouping these two columns name and country which is present in my this table store table okay name and country and i'm aggregating i'm i'm uh, using the sum function and on which column f dot column col represent the column and the column name is sales price okay this is going to be the alias name finally i'm returning the data frame so once i'm going to execute this python model what will happen the table will be created here and the table name will be this first transformation and what is going to be the output of this table the output is going to be the sales price aggregated sales price okay and the column name uh, columns are going to be store name and the country store name country and the aggregated sales price these three columns i'm going to get in my final table which is this one which will be created in snowflake now is the time to run this transformation dbt run dash dash select and the name of my transformation which is this one rename just execute this transformation copy this and paste here and execute and you will see the final output so it has been executed successfully okay now refresh it okay and the final so this is going to be my table first transformation is the table name which has been created execute this table and you will see the final result s underscore store name country and the sales price so sales price is the alias which i have created for this column ss underscore sales underscore price okay so this is the first uh, transformation python model which we have created in dbt cloud hope you understood the concept thank you so much and have a great learning